Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and welcome back to the Outsmarting Smart Shapes category. We're looking at version 27 and the updates that the Smufel fonts have brought to us for Smart Shapes. In particular, there's a lot of nifty things we can do with custom Smart Lines now from the Smufel font, so I want to kind of explore that a little bit. And this is going to be a two-parter. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some changes in the octave lines and some playback issues, so we'll get to that in the second part. Uh, but for now, let's uh, start talking about custom lines because there's a lot of nifty things that we can do. So I'm going to go into my smart shape tool and I'm going to choose the custom line tool, which if you can see it is a little bit different looking actually. It looks like a little pencil with a drawing a line there. And we're going to option click that to get into the smart line selection dialog box. And the first thing you may notice is if you uh, scroll down a little bit, well, you won't notice anything. This is all the same until you get towards the bottom. And uh, you'll see some new uh, lines that are available out of the box in the default file, which is what these are. So uh, starting about here, you have some squiggly lines or trill lines or whatever these are uh, that have different kind of widths. So this is a, a tight one, this is sort of a medium one, and this is sort of a loose uh, trill type of line. We also have these other things, uh, these wavy lines, these square lines, and other things uh, that are available to us. Now these are all made possible by the Smufel font. So let's actually take a look at what this is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this one, and I'm going to edit it. Now we should know from previous videos that there's three different types of line styles. You can have either a solid line, a dashed line or a character line and that's what's being used here is a, a character and what that means is that Finale is taking a character from the font in this case Finale Meister 24 plane and just repeating it over and over again in a straight line and that's how we're able to get these things so with these new Smufel fonts let's take a look at what this particular character is and when we press the select button there we get to the new symbol selection dialog box in version 27 which has all these categories and you'll see that it takes us to what it's calling the multi-segment lines category. Now this is where all of these things can be built. And as I scroll up and down here, you can kind of see that there's all kinds of things that be, can be used as multi-segment uh, lines. Um, now these are all designed very specifically so that the the end of the character lines up perfectly with the beginning of the next character when you sort of repeat them. So that's why this works exactly like this. And you can see that there's all types of things. So if we look at what these are, you can always see the description here. This is the trill wiggle segment fastest, right? And then you'll have faster still, faster, fast. Um, this is trill wiggle segment, uh, slow, slower, slower still, slowest, right? So there's a, this, there's a, how many is it? Nine different types of trill wiggle segments, right? And then we have an arpeggio, arpeggiated wiggle segment, et cetera. There's a whole bunch of different things that we can do. There's some end uh, elements here for arrows in either direction. Uh, so that's the trills. There's some vibrato shakes and everything. And then you have these sort of wavy lines, different versions of these, the square lines, the, uh, the sawtooth lines. Um, what is this? This is called a group glissando, which, which could be an interesting thing to use. Um, all kinds of, uh, what is this, constant circular motion segment, uh, flipped, large, large flip, etc. There's a circular motion start thing here. There's these uh, sort of dashed circular segments. A uh, whole bunch of nifty stuff. And then starting over here, we have this vibrato start uh, marking here. And then there's a whole bunch of different types of vibratos that I'm scrolling through here. You can see, and these are categories. This is called vibrato smallest fastest, faster still, fast, sort of the, the same type of organization as the trills. And then we get small. So there's smallest and small. And they've the small, smallest, <laughs> large, medium, whatever it is. Uh, let's see what else there is. There's medium, faster still. Um, the, the first description here, smallest, small, medium, large, uh, indicates the height. And then the second description indicates how tight the, the uh, vibrato is. So this is vibrato, small, faster still, right? If we go down here to one of these, this is vibrato, largest, fastest, uh, faster still, faster, etc. So that's kind of how that works. And then we have a few of these nifty little uh, quasi-random squiggle. So you can use these uh, uh, however you need to. Um, and then these are accelerando retard beams uh, with different 
widths, I guess. This is tricky to use as a smart line, but uh, in some circumstances, you can kind of string these together to get a, a nifty little um, beamed accelerando or something without node head. So that's what that could be used for. All right, so this is basically how it works. And then basically, you just cho choose any one you want. Let's choose vibrato, large, fast. And you'll see that you'll get this type of uh, smart line. And then you can, of course, use that very easily in your score by double clicking. And you will see that uh, that particular line. Now, with some of these, I'm just going to point out. I'm going to zoom in a lot here. I'm going to edit this line and kind of shrink it. When you get smaller with these lines, you do have to watch out the way that they line up. You can see that in this, the way that I have it right here is that the segments are not quite lining up. There's sort of a specific reason for this. Finale is mult is duplicating the the element, right? And when you stretch it, you can stretch it less than the full width of the element, so it doesn't really know what to do because it can't um, it can't cut off the the character. It has to it only duplicates the character. So at some point, uh, the new one will come in, and then it will be too tight, and then you kind of place get it into place, and then it, there'd be too much space, and so you, you kind of have that thing. So just be careful, especially when they're on the small side. You do have to make sure that you're aligning the characters when you drag these out. As soon as it gets larger, it's less noticeable because it's sort of dividing that space between every single character. So you, after a while, you don't even notice it anymore. So um, just be careful about that when you uh, are creating smart lines in this fashion. And so let's take a look at some other things. So uh, as we know from one of the previous videos, 14-3, I believe, I talked a lot about designing these things. So you know that you don't, you can use um, characters or words to at the start as well. And sometimes it's kind of nifty to use some of those multi-segment lines for the start. So in this case, I'm just going to edit this one we just created. And instead of using the Times New Roman 12 plane here, I'm going to change the font, go up to text, Go to the default music font finale maestro then we're going to go to size 24 right and then from here we're going to use that handy insert uh, keystroke combo which is command option shift s on a mac and we get to the symbol selection dialog box and then we need to find that multi-segment lines uh, category and then we can do something like let's choose uh, this vibrato start uh, um, uh, icon here or character and click ok and now we'll see that we almost get this, but we do know that we have to make sure that the line adjustment starts after the text. And once we click OK, now I just edited this one, so if I just uh, redraw it should appear. Um, you'll see what happens. You'll get that vibrato and then the, uh, the, the multi-segment line after that. Now, it doesn't always line up perfectly. Um, it, it, with Finale, the way that it, ha it does this, sometimes you have to make some minute adjustments in the line adjustments and stuff like that. So in this case, we can do that. Let's make this, uh, I think, maybe 0.02 or something. Let's see if that looks a little bit better. And redraw. Getting there. Yeah, it's pretty close. I could probably change the, the uh, horizontal a little bit too, but, but that's the idea. And this particular um, uh, vibrato wavy line after this short one is a, is a little weird looking. But um, actually, let's do something else here. Let's choose a different line here, different character. Let's choose a shorter one. Uh, sm vibrato, smallest, slow. Let's see what that looks like. And redraw. Yep. And then, of course, the... Vertical isn't great, so we can make that 0.01. Yeah, pretty close. So you can futz with these numbers a little bit, but that's the idea. That's how you would, uh, that's how you would create something like that. And of course, now this is completely extendable. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's that's the idea. And you can get pretty fancy with this. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Let me just demo sort of a new one to show you exactly how fancy we can get. So I'm just going to create a brand new one. I'm going to go to character uh, and I'm going to choose the trill wiggle segment if I can find it. Trill wiggle segment. Yep, just the plain trill wiggle segment, right? And then for the left start, I'm going to do the same thing I did. So font uh, finale maestro, size 24, and do the insert and we're going to find uh, trill we're just going to use that one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm because I kind of worked this out already, I'm just going to show you what happens. I'm going to do a space, but I'm going to select that space and change the size to 12 so it's not as large. 
and then change the size back to 24. There we go. And then we're going to insert another character. And we're going to use the multi-segment lines. And we're going to find Trill Wiggle segment slowest, uh, which is, where is it? Slowest, right? And we're going to insert that one. Now, when I'm creating these things, sometimes it's easier to copy and paste. So I'll just select that one, copy, go over here, paste. And we're going to do two of those. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do copy paste, select it, and then when you reinsert it, what's fancy is that it goes back to the same one that you uh, had selected. So then you can choose a different one. So that's slowest. We're going to choose slower still, and we're going to do two of those. Copy, paste. Again, I'm going to copy that, paste it again, and select it and reinsert it so that we get the slower one. And select. Again, just bear with me. Paste. Paste, select, insert the slow one, copy, paste. All right, so now I have two uh, uh, slowest, two slower stills, two slower, and two slow segments here. There's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, trill wiggle segments, and they go from uh, slower to a little bit faster. And then what happens is that the the character will take over the middle. All right, I'll fix this in, in a second. Well, we have to do the after text. I'll fix the positioning in a second. I'm also going to do the same here with the end. And just to show you how we can even go further with this, we're going to choose the right end. And we're going to start sort of doing the same thing. Uh, default music font size 24. Insert. We're going to find multi-segment lines. There we go. And the first one I want is fast, which is that one. And I'm going to do the same thing. So copy, paste, paste, select, insert to the faster, copy, paste, paste, select, insert, faster still, copy, paste, paste, select, insert, fastest. And then I'll do one more of these, copy and paste, right? So now I've got sort of an acceleration of the trill at the very end. All right, so I've got three things going on here. I've got the beginning, which is this left start, which is this whole thing. I've got the right end, which is this whole thing. And then in the middle, I'm using the character, the, the normal trill wiggle um, for the middle section. Now you can see it doesn't quite line up here again. So I, I know I just need to make one little adjustment here. 0.02 should do the trick and we click OK and now we have this little trill line and I forgot to do one thing here let's edit that one more time we do want to make sure that's horizontal that should work out better for me and there you go so now you can see what's going on I've got this uh, trill line that sort of starts slow and then gets to a point and then it just kind of continues at that medium trill speed and then at the very end it gets to this faster trill. So this is a really nifty thing that you can do um, just by copying what, exactly what I did. And what's interesting is that when you shorten this, the only thing you're shortening is the middle section. So you can see right about here, uh, that's where the, the, uh, the trill segment is duplicating itself and, and sort of extending out. So you can go as far as you want. The only thing you're um, uh, copying is that middle segment. So this is sort of set. The beginning of it is set and the end of it is set. In fact, if you keep going to the left here until you run out of uh, the, the middle part of the line, you'll see that you'll kind of get a problem because um, you know the, the rest of it's not going to shrink. That's because the beginning and end is sort of like a, a hard typed type of thing. So it's only when you go out a little bit further where you'll get something. So anyway, this is just one of the many things that you can do um, with these uh, multi-segment lines and you know by doing something fancy with the the start and left start and the right end. So that's just one little nifty thing you can do. I did a couple of other ones to show you in this other file here just to kind of show you what um, is also possible at the end here. I have a few of these. Here's the same trill that I just created. Um, here's a, the vibrato one that's I kind of started to show you done very similarly where it starts out slow 
um, and then gets a little bit uh, to a medium vibrato uh, in the middle. What's the other one I did here? Um, let's see. Oh, this is the, I should have shown you this too. This is the random squiggle line, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And this one I created so it it's doesn't have to be horizontal. Now this is really obvious with that little spacing issue. So with these guys, you really have to be careful that you're extending it out to a precise point so that uh, the beginnings and endings sort of line up with each other. Um, otherwise, you're going to get these weird little gaps. All right. Uh, what else was there? There's another one I wanted to show you that I created. That's like the one I showed you before. And then, oh yeah, this little one. So this one I'm using... I'm actually using a text plus the character. So this is Finale Maestro 24 playing these three characters right here. But this is text. You can absolutely mix and match uh, fonts within this little edit text window for the right, uh, left start or the right end. So I've created this little bounce thing here. So just to show you what that looks like. So you can do some crazy stuff like that as well. All right, so yeah, some some fun stuff that can be done with the new Smoothful fonts in that multi-segment line uh, category there. So uh, you know, the sky's the limit. You can use your imagination, and of course, you don't have to use um, the characters just from that multi-segment line um, category. Um, there's other categories here. You can repeat any character that you want. So uh, you know, if you really wanted to. Um, do something that repeated the, you know, the quarter rest or something, you could do that. Um, but uh, that multi-segment line uh, section here is sort of designed specifically for this purpose. So that's, that's kind of what's going on there. All right, so there you go. So that is uh, some custom line um, information. Again, check out uh, video 14-3 if you want a kind of a refresher on using that uh, this uh, smart line designer. There's a lot of information in there about all of these options, which I think will be helpful and uh, a good refresher if you're going to start using some of these multi-segment line uh, custom lines. So, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, come back. I'm going to start talking about the 8VA, the 15MA, and there is now a 22MA character that exists, although we don't have uh, direct support for it within the Smart Shape um, palette here. But I'll show you how to create those anyway. And then I'm also going to talk about some of the other playback issues that the Smeeful fonts have created with the, uh, the Smart Line tool. Um, very similar to the articulation tool. So we'll take a look at that in uh, part two of this uh, v version 27 update of the Smewful Smart Shapes. All right, so once again, thanks for watching. My name is Jason. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon on the next video.